Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're bringing a little NCAA Football 14 content to you today. It's game day in our Cal State Fullerton Titans dynasty. Today we take on the NIU Huskies. You are looking live on a Saturday night from DeKalb, Illinois, Husky Stadium, NIU, and Cal State Fullerton. Getting set to kick off a rematch of the 1984 California Bowl. Actually, the 1983 California Bowl, I think it was. NIU won that bowl game, the only bowl game in Cal State Fullerton history. So uh, Vernon Huff looks like he is going to be out again today. He's questionable with that pulled hamstring. And NIU has a couple of players out. Although Foster looks like he will probably get into the game. All right, first play from scrimmage. Carl Morris finds Paul Brothers, five-yard pickup. Second down and five for the Titans. Here's the pitch right side to Jack Weldon. And Weldon is going to pick up three. Third down and short. Here on the opening possession for Cal State Fullerton. And Weldon's going to find his way through the line and pick up the first down. New set of downs for the Titans. Morse looking over the defense. Here's the give to Weldon. And he'll go straight up the middle and pick up five. Solid first down pickup. Keep us ahead of the sticks. And here's the throw. Almost picked off. Kyle Pugh deflects it but cannot haul it in. Third down and five for the Titans. Morse throws left side. Quinn Chance makes the catch. And he is just across midfield into NIU territory. Here's the give to Jack Weldon on the left side. He's going to pick up four. So a solid start to the game for Cal State Fullerton. And then a two-yard loss for Jack Weldon. Brings up third down and long. Here's Morse from the pocket. Morse throws over the middle. Brothers makes the catch. Spins out of a tackle. And goes down at the 31. 18-yard reception for Paul Brothers. And Cal State Fullerton moving the football. Morse under pressure. He's going to be dropped. Loss of eight yards on the sack. Second down and 18 for the Titans. Screen pass to Quinn Chance. He picks up two. Third down and long. Here's Morse. Option. Pitches it to Weldon. And he's going to get to the 29. And we are going to go for it. We knew we were going for it there. Four down territory in that range. And Morse pass is incomplete. And the Titans will turn it over on downs. Here is Ross Bowers and the Huskies. Bowers is going to pull it down and pick up four yards. It'll be second down and six for NIU. Bowers throws over the middle to Richie. Richie has the reception out to the 49. Here's the give to Trey Harbison. First carry for him. He's going to pick up a good eight yards on it. Second down and two for NIU from Cal State Fullerton Territory. Harbison again. Picks up the first down. Here's the give to Harbison on the right side. He's pulled down behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of five on the play. Second of 15, Bowers throws it out to the left side. It is dropped by Harbison. Third and 15. Bowers again. Plenty of time from the pocket. Throws. Incomplete over the middle of the field. It'll be fourth down, and the Huskies will have to punt it away. Bishop's going to let this one bounce at the eight-yard line and go out of the back of the end zone. Here's the second drive for the Titans. Weldon has it on the right side. No score yet in the football game. Give to Weldon on the counter. He runs over an NIU defender. Picks up seven yards. He's just shy of the first down. It'll be third down and one. Give to Jack Weldon on the left side. He's just going to get enough to move the chains. Morse play action. Rolls out to the right side. Throws. Two brothers a little bit behind him, but he makes the catch. 17-yard pickup. Brothers He's turning it into a favorite target. He's not the highest rated receiver that we have, but he seems to have been the most reliable so far this year. Here's Morse. Screen pass out to the left side to Weldon. He loses four. That's going to bring us 
to the end of a very quick first quarter here in DeKalb. No score. Here's Morse now from the shotgun. Morse, lots of time to throw. He floats it out there and it's picked off by Walker. First turnover of the football game, NIU gets it. And they're going to have some good field position to start with here for Ross Bowers in the offense. Bowers out to the left side to Brinkman. He makes the catch. Second down and three for the Huskies. Give to Trey Harbison. Harbison throws Demetrius Rivas off of him. And he picks up the first down. Rivas had shed his block well. But then Harbison breaks the tackle as he continues to break tackles up the middle of the field. Second down and three. Bowers keeps it on the read option. He's got tons of running room. Down the left seam, he picks up 16 yards and into the red zone. Bowers floats it out to the right side. Robinson makes the catch. It'll be a five-yard pickup. Second and five for the Huskies. Give to Harbison off the right side. And that's going to make it third and one. Big defensive play here for the Titans. 7.49 to go in the second. Bowers throws. Caught touchdown, Harbison. Two-yard touchdown reception, and NIU gets on the board first. PAT's up and good. And it's 7 to nothing, Northern Illinois with the lead early in the second quarter. Here is the kick. Bishop will field it at the 1. Return it out across the 25 to the 29. First down and 10 for the Titans. Moore steps up, throws, finds Quinn Chance. And Chance is going to be into Husky territory. First down and 10. Fullerton. Morse left side to Brothers. Brothers is pushed out of bounds. Second down and 1. Morse again to Chance. Chance makes the catch. First down. Fullerton State. Give right side to Jack Weldon. Weldon straight up the middle of the field. Picks up 13 yards. First down and 10. Morse keeps it on the read option. He goes nowhere. Second down and 10 for the Titans. Brothers in motion from the left side. Morse swings it out to Weldon on the right side. He's got one man to beat. Touchdown. Cal State Fullerton. Jack Weldon out of the backfield on a wheel route makes the catch, makes a couple of guys miss with a nifty little juke. And the Titans tie it up at seven apiece midway through quarter number two. Valentine will field it in the end zone and bring it out across the 30. He's got some room. Uh oh, look out. Past midfield, Ravy on Valentine. First down and 10. Northern Illinois, Harbison on the draw. Loses three yards. Second and 13 for NIU. Harbison again. Has some blocking out ahead of him. Picks up nine yards. It'll bring up a third down for NIU on the plus side of the 50. Give to Harbison. Harbison breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. And then his, takes his, uh, has his legs taken out. And they'll have to punt it away. LSU and Alabama, let's check in from Tuscaloosa. Tua, Tago Vailoa. Throws out of the pocket. It is picked off by LSU. Going the other way. Pushed out of bounds just across midfield. Not a great pass. Tua's not having a great year. Second down and eight. For LSU, Joe Burrow hooks up with Thaddeus Moss, a 25-yard reception. First down and 10 now. Joe Burrow, look at him go up the middle for 11 yards down to the goal line. First down and goal, and he's going to call his own number again. Joe Burrow pulls it out, runs it in for the touchdown, and LSU leads Alabama 13 to nothing in Tuscaloosa. Let's get back to DeKalb, Illinois. Fourth down, NIU punts it away. It's going to go out of the back of the end zone. And the Titans get it, first down and 10. Morse, backpedaling, finds Burton. And Burton's out to the 21. It'll be second and nine, short pickup for the Titans. Now here's Weldon, he's pulled down in the backfield for a short loss, third down and nine. Cal State Fullerton, Morse throws into a tight window. It's batted down by Treshawn Foster. And it's fourth down and nine, Titans punt it away. Valentine fields it at his own 37 and Fountain pushes him out of bounds. First down and 10 for NIU. We're all tied up at seven here at Husky Stadium. Trey Harbison picks up seven yards. It'll be second down and three for the Huskies. Third down and six now after that stop in the backfield. Bowers from the pocket. Bowers over the middle to Tucker. 
Tucker has a first down and he crosses midfield for NIU. A minute 38 to go in the first half. Tucker makes the catch again. He's forced out of bounds. It'll be second down and nine for the Huskies. Bowers stepping up in the pocket. He's going to pull it down and run, and he slides down in front of Carey. Third down and six for NIU. Bowers from the pocket, throwing, overthrows his intended receiver. It'll be fourth down, and the Huskies are going for it here. Bowers is going to pull it down and run. He's going to be short of the first down. No, they give it to him. Forward progress. A nice hit, but... He does pick up the first down. Bowers out to the left side. Tucker makes the catch. Goes out of bounds. We got 48 seconds left in the half. Here's the give to Harbison up the middle. Harbison loses a yard. Second and 11. Richie in motion. Here comes the option. Bowers keeps it. Now he's going to continue to keep it. I thought he was going to pitch it there. Third down and one for the Huskies. Bowers out to the right side. Batted down. Nice play by Elliott Mooney. And NIU is going to bring in a field goal unit and back him up five yards. So here's the kick with 36 seconds. The kick is up, and it is good. All right, let's get back down to Tuscaloosa, see how things are going down there for the Crimson Tide and the Bayou Bengals. Tago, or Tago, Tago Vailoa. Out to the right side. Sets up a third down and goal for Alabama here with 28 seconds to go in the half. Tua is rocked, and it'll be fourth down, and Alabama's just going to put three points on the board before halftime. They are at halftime down there, 13-3 in favor of LSU. It's 10-7 here in Illinois. 33 seconds to go in the first half. Bishop will field the kick. He goes down the sideline out to the 48-yard line. First down and 10. Titans with 27 seconds. Morse. Deep drop, throws over the middle. It is caught. And we have two timeouts here with 20 seconds left. Morse throws over the middle to Burton. Maybe we can get in field goal range. Probably need to get to about the 20 to be in range for our kicker. Here's the give to Weldon. We still are holding on to those two timeouts. 12 seconds left, a third down and nine. Morse under pressure, throws left side, and it is dropped. That would have put us in field goal range or really close. On fourth down now, the throw is into space, and nobody is there. So it's halftime here in DeKalb. Illinois, uh, Northern Illinois 10, Cal State Fullerton 7 at the break. Get set for the second half here. Cal State Fullerton will kick off. Ravion Valentine's going to bring it out of the end zone. He's got some room again on the left side, and he gets out to the 25. Ross Bowers in the offense back on the field for the Huskies. Read option, Bowers keeps it. A missed tackle, and then Bowers fumbles it, but it goes out of bounds. Second down and three for NIU. Harbison on the left side. Harbison picks up six, including a first down for NIU. Harbison again, they're just working that left side. He's got lots of room, and he's into Titan territory to the 45. New set of downs for Northern Illinois. Harbison. Again, off that left side. They're just pounding the left side of the line of scrimmage here. First down and 10. Now Harbison's going to start right, cut back to the left, and get down inside the 25. It'll be second down and three for NIU. Bowers, pressure from behind, and he goes down. Well, he get, got rid of it. It's actually incomplete. Third down and three. Bowers is going to keep it, and he has the first down inside the 20. Pickup of seven. NIU leading 10 to seven, looking to put more on the board. First down and 10, Bowers is going to pull it down, and this time he does go down, a loss of four yards. It'll be second down and 14 for the Huskies. Motion from the left side. Here's the give to Harbison on the counter. This time he goes off the right side of the line, picks up a good chunk of yardage, brings up third down and four for NIU, Bowers. Bowers is going to be flushed out to the right, and he is taken down, and that will set up a fourth down field goal try for NIU. The kick is up. And it is good. It's 13-7. Huskies with the lead. 7-11 to go in quarter number three. Here is Elliot Mooney on the return. He goes up the right hash mark. And picks up 22 yards on the return. Here comes Jack Weldon and the Cal State Fullerton Titans. Second down and seven. Weldon picks up three. Now a screen pass to Weldon. He's going to be pulled down at the original line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. 
Morse under pressure, and down he goes. Carl Morse sacked by Antonio Jones Davis. First sack of the game for him, fourth down, and the Titans will have to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made at the 35, and here comes Ross Bowers and Northern Illinois. Carey pulls him down from behind. Wow. Wicked tackle there. Almost looked like a horse collar. Second down and one. They don't have horse collars in this game. Here's the throw. Right side overthrows everybody. Miscommunication on the route or something. Second down and ten for NIU. Bowers standing in the pocket. All day to throw. Throws into double coverage. And it's incomplete. Third down and ten for NIU. Bowers setting up a screen left side to Harvison. He's got a blocker out in front of him and lots of room. And he gets the first down. First down and 10, NIU. Harvison straight up the middle. Second down and nine, Bowers swings it out to the left side to Tucker. Tucker is going to be stopped short of the first down. It'll be third down and inches. Three, 44 to go. Harvison off the left side. NIU trying to make this a two score game here. First down and 10, Harvison. Again, off that left side, they have used that side of the offensive line a lot in the running game. Second down and five. Once again off the left side. This time Rivers is going to pull him down. Or Rivas, I, Rivas, I think. Third down and inches. Bowers. Read option keeps it. Touchdown, Huskies. Ross Bowers goes in from about seven yards out. And it's going to put the Huskies up 20-7 to late in the third quarter. And let's check back in with LSU and Alabama. Both teams are 6-2. LSU is ranked number 11. Bama ranked number 13. Here is Tua on a third down and 20. And he finds Jerry Judy down the left side. On a second down and 9, the give is to Najee Harris. A stiff arm. He falls forward to the goal line. Does not quite break the plane. Third down and goal now for Alabama trying to make it a three-point game. Najee Harris in for the touchdown. It's 13-10 down in Tuscaloosa. We've got a good one brewing down there. It's 20-7 up here. NIU with the lead over Cal State Fullerton. Here's the return by Bishop. Out to the 25, and we got a flag. And that's going to be a block in the back on the Titans. So first down and 10 from our own, I don't know, 13, 12 yard line, something like that. I think it was half the distance to the goal. Second down and seven. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Morse play action. He's flushed out. Meadows makes the catch. Meadows! Hey, he has some wills for a tight end. First down and 10. Maybe he should have been starting all season instead of Houston. Houston doesn't have good hands. I don't know about Meadows' hands, but at least he can run well. Third down and one now for the Titans. Play action, Morse. Throws it out to Chance. Quinn Chance is just going to dart out of bounds. First down and 10 with 26 seconds left in the third. Clock is still ticking. Give to Lauren Reyes up the middle. That's his first carry of the game. He doesn't get many carries as our backup running back. And he hasn't been uh, super efficient with them either. 20-7 to seven as we head to quarter number four here in DeKalb. NIU with the lead, Cal State Fullerton with the ball. Ten minutes left to go in the game. Quinn Chance picks up eight. First down and ten. Brothers comes in motion across the formation from right to left. Here's the give to Weldon. Weldon tackled from behind. Second down and six. Morse. Morse flushed out to the right. He pump fakes and goes down. Third down and 15. That was a loss of ten yards. Third down and 15, here's the throw, corner incomplete, and uh, the Titans might have to go for it here. Fourth down and 15, offense still on the field. Morse hit from behind, dropped, and that will be a turnover on downs. Okay, let's get back to Tuscaloosa, see how things are shaking out down there for the Crimson Tide and the LSU Tigers. 13 to 10, LSU. On a first down from deep in Alabama territory, the give is to John Emery Jr. He picks up 24 yards, setting up a third down and goal play here. Joe Burrow would hand it off the right side to Clyde Edwards-Hilaire for the touchdown, and it is now 20-10 in favor of LSU. Back to 
Northern Illinois, second down and five for the Huskies. 20 to seven lead here for NIU with 8.05 to go in the game. Bowers gives it to Harbison. We're probably gonna see a steady dose of Harbison here as NIU tries to run some time off the clock. Harbison again, following big number 72 down the right side, picks up five yards, second down for NIU. This one's picked off by Bishop. And he's gonna be tackled at the 45. That was the turnover we needed right there. First down and 10, Morris play action. Looking out left side, Chance makes the catch. It'll be second and one. Morse, this time out to Brothers. Bubble screen. Kind of a dangerous pass. Brothers takes it down to the 35. First down and 10. Morse has it. He's going to keep a hold of it on the option and pick up eight. Second down and two for the Titans. Morse under pressure. Let's it go. Catch is made by Marcus Burton on the comeback route. First down and goal. Titans filling a little bit of momentum here. Here's Weldon off the left side. He gets to the five. It'll be second down and goal from just outside the five yard line. Play action, Morse rolling out to the right side. Morse throws back across his body, caught touchdown. Marcus Burton hauls it in. And just like that, Cal State Fullerton is within a score. 20 to 14, 5.09 to go. NIU, Valentine will field it at the goal line. He's been dangerous in the return game today. This time he brings it out to the 23 is all. It'll be first down and 10 for Bowers and NIU. Austin comes up and makes the stick of Harbison. Second down and 13 after a loss of three. Bowers sitting in the pocket, throws out to the right side to Harbison. Tackle is made right there. Third down and seven for NIU. Here's the throw. Batted around. Incomplete. Throw is behind him. It'll bring up fourth down and NIU is going to punt it away again. And Cal State Fullerton is going to have a chance to take the lead with a touchdown and an extra point. Bishop returns at eight yards out to the 47. And here's Carl Morse and the offense. Weldon, right side of the line of scrimmage. Second down and seven. Morse backpedaling. Throws over the middle. Chance is there. 25-yard reception for Quinn Chance. 3.18 to go. Titans driving down by six. Give to Weldon. Weldon tripped up after a two-yard gain, second down and eight. 2.40 to go. Morris almost loses his footing, but then finds Gerard Houston. And Houston gets down inside the 10. First catch of the day for Houston. First down and goal from just inside the 10-yard line for the Titans. Give to Weldon. Weldon down to the five. Second down and goal, a minute 40 to go. Morris flushed out. Morse, nowhere to go, throws it, oh it's dangerous, back across his body, what are we doing? Third down and goal, lucky that we still have the football there. Here's the throw to Brothers, he's right at the goal line and he gets stopped. Fourth down, what do we do here? We're keeping our offense on the field. And now we're going to call a timeout. Think about it a little bit. Fourth down and goal, 51 seconds. Here we go, heavy formation. And oh, broken play, What? what was that? Where was the running back there? What was called? What was that play anyway? I have no clue what that was. Horrible time to have a miscommunication on the play. It looked like Morse was trying to hand it to the running back who was not there. Let's check back in with Alabama LSU here. Late in the game. 23-10. LSU with the lead. Clyde Edwards-Alaire down the right side, 24-yard touchdown run, and that is going to ice it. LSU goes into Alabama, comes away with a victory. 30-10, LSU improves to 7-2. They're 4-2 in the SEC. Alabama, third loss of the year. They are 3-3 three three in conference play. All right, let's get back to NIU for the conclusion of this game. NIU has the ball. We have two timeouts. Second down and eight, Trey Harbison. We call a timeout. Harbison has 120 plus yards rushing. Here's the give to Harbison again. He's gonna be tackled. We use our final timeout with 41 seconds. It really doesn't matter. They can, they can run one play and then run out the clock. So this is going to be a loss for Cal State Fullerton. Disappointing, we had a chance to win the game with the ball sitting inside the one yard line. Harbison goes down on a loss there. Clock is going to run out. And NIU escapes with the win. Harbison, your player of the game with 29 carries, 121 yards 
on the day for Northern Illinois. Final score from DeKalb, Illinois. Huskies, 20. Cal State Fullerton Titans, 14. Here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming, it's Cal State Fullerton Titans Dynasty. Let's look at some numbers. We outgained them 305 to 268. But look at our rushes. 28 carries for only 45 yards on the day. Seriously, our running game has been atrocious this season. They had 41 carries, 182 yards on the ground and one touchdown. We did have 260 yards through the air, 25 of 34 with two touchdowns. They only had 86 passing yards. Not very good for them in the passing game, 10 of 20 and one touchdown. They were 7 of 14 on third down conversions. That was big for them, and they were 100% in the red zone with two touchdowns and two field goals on four trips. We were 5 of 12 on third downs. We were 50% in the red zone with one touchdown in our two trips. And each team threw an interception in the game. So that's it uh, for this episode. Final score 20 to 14. Northern Illinois with the win. Up next, we will do our helmet stickers episode and kind of break down this game and look back at it and see uh, where we go from here. All right, that's it for this episode. Catch you next time. It's Mama's Basement Sports Gaming, Cal State Fullerton Titans Dynasty.